Hey guys, it's Leah. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, welcome to my channel. I know this is a little bit of a different angle from usual, but today I'm going to be giving you guys my desk tour. What I'm going to be using for school and also showing you guys how I've organized my drawers in my desk and how I've organized some other stuff too. So if you guys like this video or this type of content and want me to do more tours of stuff, give me a big thumbs up um, and subscribe down below as well as turn on those post notifications so you get notified every time I post a video. And with that, let's get into the video. All right, so starting off with this side or corner of my desk, we have all of my pens and highlighters um, that I use for my bullet journaling. There's a whole video on how I store that stuff, but you can go watch that if you want to know. So that is all over here. We also have this little, I'm going to say it's like a mouse pad, but it has these little slips of paper for notes. My LED light controller, my pen that I can use with my laptop because it can be a tablet screen, my wireless earbuds, and then my mouse. These things are things I use very regularly and um, like to have handy. Um, so that's why these are on here. Moving over to the center of the desk, this is where I put my computer, it charges, whatever, and I do all of my work. So I can, you know, get out some pens and color something. I can journal on this desk. I can do whatever I want in this area of the desk because that's the clear space and I really like distinguishing this from like my journal space. This is kind of like the workspace. Moving over here in the corner, we have a lamp that doesn't have a lampshade in it for better lighting. Um, my washi tape holder, which I need to put some more in and then, and put them on little thingy. And then in here, this was an old plant vase and I just decided to make it into like a pen holder. So right here we have some um, ballpoint pens, some erasable pens, highlighters, some just original pens and pencils. And that is for whenever I need something to write with, which is kind of normal. Um, right here, this is just a little bag of stuff that I like to keep on my desk. And yeah, that is the top of my desk. Now I'm going to be showing you all the drawers. So this is the top right drawer. And in here, I just store paper. I have lined paper and then I have some blank paper. If you can see underneath here, I have some pattern paper and then some cardstock on the bottom, as well as this like notepad um, that I don't use very often, but it's nice to have. So that is the first drawer. This is the second drawer on the right, and this holds all of my extra art stuff. So this is some Tombow Dual Brush Pen packs that um, came that just, this is the case for them as well as a few packs that my grandpa just gave to me um, to keep in my desk. Underneath that, we have this, these paint brushes, um, my paints, all my painting stuff. Under here is um, my stencils. So I have some clear ones and then some Christmas ones. And I don't use these very often, but I like to have them in case my sister wants to use them or some of her friends wants to use them or babysitting. Those are great things to take over to people's houses. I also have this little sticker maker that I use when I want to make some really small stickers or things to stick in my bullet journal, as well as this photo printer. It is the Polaroid Mint photo printer. I really like it. Um, I had the film somewhere else, but this is a cheaper option than like a Polaroid camera and I really like it. So that is this part. Moving over to the left side. This is probably where the organization comes in the most. This is my organizer. So I made this just out of a cardboard box, hot glue, and some other cardboard that I just glued on to this whole situation. And then down here, I just have some organizing holders. These have like chapstick and stuff, um, scratchy, uh, hand sanitizer for me when I'm at my desk and I need something. These are pens that go up onto my board. I can't show you because they have pictures of my family on it. And then there is some sticky tabs that I can pull out and then some sticky notes as well as some safety pins and stuff like that. Over here in the back corner, we just have some paper. We have a few little notebook stuff like that. These big paper clips that I sometimes use. Um, and then these binder clips, which I use for 
taking pictures of my bullet journal and just in general. Over here, we have some white out lead, more lead, um, glue tape, glue, and then I will have some normal tape in here when I get some, but for now I don't have any. So over here, we have some other pens that I just can use on a regular basis. Most of the pens that I will use normally are up here, but I did want some other ones that I had before to go in here. So that is other pens, as well as all of these highlighters that I can also use. I also underneath here have these um, dual brush tip markers that I don't use because they um, bend and aren't very good. And then over here, I just have some scissors. These have patterns on them. And then I have some regular scissors as well. The last drawer I have here is this drawer. It just has some books that I don't use, um, some old yearbooks and also some notebooks. And then as well as my like medals that I've earned from doing things in the past. And then the last drawer, which might not even look like a drawer, is this one in the middle. It just folds out and I have my makeup and then some jewelry and, you know, just kind of all of the junk that I don't need in here. But anyway, this is my jewelry and a makeup drawer and I don't use this very often at my desk to get ready. I normally get ready at my dresser, but just having a space for all of that really helps. So this is the final part of my desk tour. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments if you're going back to school, if you're online, I'm online. So this is why I kind of reorganized on my desk and cleaned it all out before the school year starts. I highly recommend doing that because then your desk is all ready for online school and it's really easy to find everything. Again, if you like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next Sunday.